Hey guys, welcome back to another video in this. Wait, I don't like this background. Let's change. Yep, uh, this seems good. So in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of application process to apply for masters in United States. And before going into the video, while I'm talking about uh, different steps in application process, I'll be attaching the thumbnail and the video link over here so that if you if you are in that uh, particular stage in application process you can just go click on it and know some details so i made some notes just in case if i forget anything so yeah the application process starts with by uh, selecting the semester you want to go so let's say if you want to go right after your bachelor's probably you'll be going to the fall semester and let's say if you want to do a six months internship program or uh, probably you want to do some uh, you want to work in a company and gain some work experience and then come then it's it's up to you whether to choose fall or spring semester so watch this video to know what the differences in fall and spring semester after this once you uh, once you decide that you need you want to go pursue your masters in this semester you need to write exams so probably gre and ielts uh, i know many of the universities have waived off gre so if you if you think uh, if you are shortlist of universities or if you think you can just uh, skip the part of GRE exam then probably you can take IELTS and then uh, use the GRE waiver which universities are giving. So once you get the test results of GRE and IELTS based on your profile, based on your CGPA, based on your work experience, based on your overall profile, shortlist universities also while shortlisting universities keep in mind that uh, I mean uh, select the universities which which give out huge scholarships to international students. So, and then uh, once you shortlist universities, check the requirements page of the department you want to apply or, or the program you want to apply. You will probably have to write SOP or probably have to write personal statement. You have to give uh, three or four num number of LORs. So it depends on the university and the program you are applying. So based on the requirements, you can draft your SOP, you can draft your personal statement, you can ask your recommenders to give you LOR by this time. And once you are, are done with that, apply to the all universities and relax, you've done your job. Probably after four weeks or eight weeks, depending on the time you applied, you'll get decisions. I hope you get good, good admits and good scholarships. Once you get all of your decisions, finalize the university based on your long term and short term goals it depends so watch this video like i will tell you how i how i finalized university how i finalized clemson university to pursue my masters in mechanical engineering and once you finalize the university you can request i20 from the university by submitting financial doc uh, financial documents uh, this is just to say th say to the university that you are financially uh, eligible you are financially eligible to pursue the masters program irrespective of what scholarship you get in future or what are the scholarship you got now so once your i20 uh, once uh, once your i20 gets shipped to your home you can start fill out filling out ds160 form so which is a long form you need to fill that once you are done with uh, uh, ds160 pay uh, visa fee which is 160 dollars and pay service fee which is 350 dollars and once you're done with that you you are uh, like you can book a visa slot in different consulates or one embassy in India, New Delhi, or different consulate like Hyderabad, Kolkata, Chennai, or Bombay. And then once you once you book your slot, go attend the visa interview, crack it. It's it's not that hard if you are genuine about how you want to pursue your masters, you'll get your visa approved. And now the fun part begins. So spend time with your family, go for shopping, finish some pre 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 departure formalities and stuff and now it's time to chase your dreams you can just fly so that's it uh, it's it's so simple i know it seems very overwhelming when you are in that process i know i've been through that process all alone so i know it feels so hectic it feels so overwhelming but once you finish the process you think oh that was easy that was not that hard probably that time it it seemed that way so that's it and also people were asking me whether uh, they were late for fall 2022 no guys you are not late while I was applying for fall 2021, I started my application process from September, which is even now it's September. So you can start now. So start preparing for GRE. My GRE was on September 28th and my IELTS was in November 12th. In between, in October, I was I was uh, drafting my SOPs, LORs, personal statements and stuff. And I started applying in November and I still managed to get 
good good amount of scholarships so you're not late it's not too late if you if you consider waiving gre start your application process prepare files files doesn't take much time probably 10 20 days not more than that so you're not late start applying so that's it i just wanted to make a short video to clear all the questions i've been getting in instagram about uh, what should i do after i write gre what should i do after i write sop how should i submit application what is post admission process and stuff so i hope this video clears everything if not just message me on instagram or linkedin i'll try to reply i've been getting a lot of messages these days so i'll try to reply i'm i'm replying to every every one of your messages so that's it Uh, start applying to the universities all the best and i'll see you in the next one. bye